Hey Rebels, welcome back to my channel, you're watching RWS and we're going to get straight into the video. So today we're making a beret and these are the patterns to the beret. I cut out two equal sized circles and did all of that magic, all of that jazz. Don't forget to add seam allowance, which was one centimeter. Now this is the fabric that I'm going to be using, which is a black pleather. I love it, obviously. I've already cut out the pieces and I added two strips of the fabric for the headband of our beret. So the next thing we're going to do is join these two semicircles with a one centimeter stitch. After joining them, as you can see, we're going to open up the seam and then sew it with a foot stitch. So with a, a foot stitch, you want to align the outside of the foot with the seam, just as you guys can see over there. And this is how my seam, my stitch looked like and I didn't like that it looked too ratchet and so I decided to make it smaller by aligning the inside of the foot with the seam instead this time. So this is called an edge stitch. And as you can see it already looks even better and I must say guys I was not going to unpick that crooked line because this is pleather and it leaves holes so you want to make sure that you stitch properly. And as you can see the outcome on the other side looked even way better. So now that we've done that, we're going to join this now donut looking thing with a circle fabric with a 1cm um, seam and as you can see I've already done that and after doing that we're going to stitch all around with like 2cm intervals doesn't really matter but this is to allow the fabric to ease up especially because it's pleather it kind of is hard to turn it inside out so now we're going to open the seam flat like that and turn it inside out and give it the same edge stitch that we did with the base of the hat i like to start where my seams are because it just makes it neater and since we're sewing a circle it's quite a continuous stitch but the ending it doesn't look so neat if it's in the middle of nowhere so here is how the hat looks like now that I've stitched it and now coming to the band I joined the two pieces together because they were not long enough. And I did the same thing by giving it an edge stitch to just give it a cohesive look. Now attaching it to the hat you want to make sure that it's aligned with the seam. Seams are aligned and then I decided because I didn't know how long it was and I was later to measure that I was just going to pin everything together and make sure that I close the gap and then undo the pins and then stitch it. Give it a stitch and then cut it out. I hope that makes sense, but I'm um, hoping that the video gives you a clearer explanation. So after doing that, I also did the same thing and I decided to, I mean the same thing which was to give it an edge stitch um, on the seam and then sew it all around with a 1cm stitch. Um, now I'm attaching the lining. So the lining is the same measurements as the hat just don't forget to add that extra one centimeter seam allowance so that we may be able to attach it to the band so this is how you're going to attach you're going to leave a small hole so that you can turn it inside out and then you're going to just sew a one centimeter seam all around joining the lining to the outside fabric which is our pleather and as you can see that's the hole that we've left there and we've already sewn everything together and all you're going to do is just turn it inside out after turning it inside out there that's how it looks and you just want to fold everything in and make sure that it looks really neat making sure that your fold is equal all the way around but we're going to give this one a um, under stitch when we're sewing it down so i'm going to show you guys just in a minute but that hole that we left over there we're just going to pin it down so that it doesn't move So the understitch is aligning the edge of the seam with the inside of the foot. I hope that makes sense but what you want to do is you don't want to touch the, 
edge of the seam and you want to make sure that it's as close as possible to that seam that it doesn't show that much so it doesn't look like an edge stitch but it's yeah it's an under stitch and this is how my hat looks so, so rebels i hope that you guys enjoyed that video please don't forget to leave a thumbs up hit that notification bell if you haven't but if you haven't subscribed please do the right thing and subscribe until next time love you lots see you guys on monday Gang signs. it don't matter what you bang everybody got the same smile but they still probably gon' fold, probably gon' change on me okay. Never know who to trust, that's why I keep that thing on me It's getting hot on the block, one of these motherfuckers is gonna get popped